Hey everyone, I'm back again on Dragon OS Noble. It's kind of funny, I had recorded this entire video and forgot to double check my audio input, and I'm just that, I don't know, I'd like to just record the audio as I'm doing things, so I'm re uh, coming back and redoing everything again. But anyways, point of this video is, is I'm just retesting some applications that have been around for a while in Dragon OS, this time focusing on dump HFDL, uh, which decodes HF data link transmissions from aircraft. I have the page pulled up here where you can read a little more about it. Honestly, I started out thinking that I would just go through and verify dump HFDL worked with an AirSpy HF that I had or that I have. Uh, but then I ended up going down the rabbit hole because, or a rabbit hole, because the individual that put this application together really packed a lot of features in here a lot of supported output formats and types and so I really wanted to see if I could not only receive the data and decode it but get it into uh, Grafana so my goal is today or for this video is to show real-time decoded aircraft traffic you can see um, some coming in hopefully as I'm talking here uh, we're going to take that decoded aircraft traffic and signal metrics and get it inside Grafana so hopefully both JSON message data which you see on the screen here and the stats D performance counters flowing into Grafana so just I guess to highlight again dump HFDL is an open source decoder for HF data link long-range messaging system aircraft use uh, talks to your SDR through SOPI SDR so it works with uh, many different receivers in this video, I'm using the AirSpy HF. When I talk about things like the um, statistics, you can read more about it. I'll put the you know link for this project in the description. It'll take you to Stats D. You can see what that is. Uh, you can see that the supported output formats of Dump HFDL, one of which is uh, JSON. Let's see what else. You're going to also notice that my ground stations have names. Um, I will stop dump HFDL right now and we'll go a little bigger on this screen. So dump HFDL is already compiled and included in Dragon OS Noble, so you don't have to do all the you know building and, and, and compiling. It's already there. And I'm just running it from the command line, telling it use the SOPI SDR driver AirSpy HF. I've specified a 768 kilohertz sample rate, did a center frequency of 8.891 megahertz. My understanding that's close to uh, a cluster of active ground station channels in North America. If, if I'm wrong on anything here, please let me know in the description, but I was trying to read up on this and refresh my memory. Uh, I chose the frequencies after the center frequency that you can see here the stats D uh, output that I'm doing right now that's the I left it default and I'll explain why 127001 and the system table that is uh, in Dragon OS at this particular location and that system table allows for uh, the ground stations um, to be tagged with names like like you saw up there Shannon Ireland so on and so forth so um, you could kind of see uh, if I run this again I was running it so that you could see the output and you can see it's a mix of aircraft um, frequency data position reports a lot of things can and can come across I've been uh, messing on and off with it or uh, on and off uh, through uh, since yesterday uh, but we're going to go ahead and get to the kind of the integration piece here with Grafana what I did was I built a little docker compose project and what this does after spending a lot of time trying to read up on understand uh, graphite Loki Promtail and then of course Grafana which I've messed with in the past this stack will set everything up and what it's going to do is is take the stats D output is going to go to uh, graphite on uh, 8125 port 8125 that's going to handle num uh, numeric metrics uh, like frames process SNR and then the JSON data 
here that's going to go and be written to a file which I'll show here in a second and it's going to go into Promtail and then push into Loki ultimately everything's going to be showed in Grafana so in this case I did use Docker for these components and let me think what else um, it took me a little while just to, to make sure I had Promtail uh, parsing the JSON uh, lines correctly and you know, putting timestamps on them so that they lined up in uh, Grafana automatically. So I've uh, put a little longer command here than what I had a second ago. I've just added the uh, output here that's going to go into the temp directory. You could do something else with this, make it a little more robust. I'm just doing this. This is an easy way to get up and running. I'm going to go ahead and run this so that hopefully some uh, more messages are captured as we're kind of going through this. So let's grab this project. You can put it wherever uh, you'd like. We could put it right on the desktop if we want for the purposes of this video. Like git clone. Okay, and a couple other things I'm going to point out. I've already taken care of installing Docker. That's specified right here. You should be able to copy and paste this into uh, Dragon OS. Uh, you could probably get away, obviously, with installing bare metal, the different components, but in this case, I chose to just use uh, Docker. Put your user in the Docker group. You either can uh, log out, log back in. There's another command line option that you can do to get around that. What that will put your current session in the group, but probably just as easy to log out, log back in, check that you can, um, you know, run Docker without sudo. We get clone this project down. I'm not going to do the dash d because I I just want to like see you know what is going on. Let's change to our desktop, dump hfdl Grafana stack, and we can see that there is the Promtail configuration file, the dashboard JSON that we're going to use here in a second. And we're just going to do a docker compose up. Now, I did have some of these dockers already pulled down, so, you know, when you run this for the first time, you know, you're going to have to have internet and it's going to go out and pull those down. That's just going to run. You can kind of look. If you did a dash D, it would just go, you know, in the background and just do its thing and run. Dump, uh, dump HFDL is going. So what we want to do is we want to go, we're going to go to uh, localhost 3000. I'll log out for a second and you'll be uh, presented the first time you go here with the login page. You can use admin admin. I'm going to skip that. We're going to jump right to connections and there is some connections I already have here. We can just delete. And I'll show you, you know, basically starting from scratch. We can even delete our dashboard. Okay. And, and you're not going to see anything on the screen coming out here because it's going to that output decoded JSON. I did have another uh, little command that I was using earlier. It was just looking TCP dump, looking on 825. I was just messing with this earlier to, to check some traffic. It's not really needed. I was just doing some debugging. So let's go ahead and add a new connection here and just like it says right on somewhere here we're going to add graphite and Loki so Oop. if you're not familiar with uh, Grafana this is Grafana I've did a video or two on the past or in the past using it. I should be able to copy and paste into the URL, hit save and test. And you get green, we're good. 
data sources, we'll add another one. We want to do Loki, which is right here. We're using the names like that just because of the way that we have the Docker network set up and the Docker compose. Save and test. Yep, we're good. So at this point, we've got both our data sources. And now we want to set up our dashboard. And the dashboard, if you remember, that is in the JSON that we grabbed as part of the project here. So let's go ahead and create dashboard. We'll say import dashboard. Go right into our folder, dashboard JSON, drag it over, import. And now we have a dashboard that is uh, basically, you know, the so what. And so instead of staring at the console output, I now have like a real time, basically dashboard that I can observe the statistics, the HF uh, aircraft data. And really this is kind of reusable for other decoders too. So, and everything you see uh, from data, uh, from dump HFDL to the you know the docker stack is running on Dragon OS Noble. We can see some messages thankfully you know are, are um, you know continuing to to come in. We can see that ground station info. So the messages HFDL logs on the bottom your total frames this is just a, a few examples of how you can set up a dashboard or a few things, you know, you know what I'm saying. Basically, a few things within the dashboard. Uh, top uh, five channels by frames. We can see the frequency there. And so, yeah, that's uh, that's really what I wanted to show. Hopefully, that is helpful. I love just integrating different things, going above and beyond, just using the SDR itself. So yeah, it'd be great to see uh, what anyone else comes up with. I know there's another, the ACARS, uh, ACARS Hub, I think it is, application that does another really nice job of pulling all kind of ACARS related data in. Uh, I just wanted to learn a little bit more about just saving the statistics, the data, and, and looking at it within Grafana. So there we go. All right.